Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial. We're talking about Podio again today, and we're talking about some advanced functionality. We're gonna make use of the calculation fields within Podio to give us some really cool summary level data to help out with what can be a frustrating user interface with Podio sometimes, all right? So we're gonna actually create markdown tables to create summary level data from a referenced app, okay? I'm telling you that once you learn this, you're gonna want to do it a lot because it's super useful, okay? So let's dive in. I encourage you to open up Podio and try to follow along with me. All you need for this is just two apps that are related to each other, okay? Now I'm gonna be using kind of a real estate type situation where I have a deals app and then I have a properties app, okay? So this is a common relationship where a deal is something we're going to potentially make some money on properties has the information regarding um, the property, okay? So like a properties app, we're probably setting it up to pull information from Zillow. We have the Zestimate, we have bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. We have all this cool stuff in here that's really useful. But it's information that can muddy up the deal. So often we'll bounce this out into a separate app because within the deal, I want to, I'm gonna have a really nice, neat um, app. I don't wanna have all of those fields in here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how within the deal, I can bring in just the fields that I want, okay, from the property, all right? So this is gonna be done with a calculation field. So let's do that. Now, if you have a calculation, uh, or if you have a setup already ready to go, you're good. But if, if you wanna kind of follow along, all, again, all you need is an app with a relationship and we're gonna be grabbing fields from it, okay? so. I'm gonna be grabbing information from this properties app. So let's modify template. We're going to add a calculation field. You can kind of put it wherever you want, but let's say that I want it just kind of right up top here. All right. And so I'm gonna call this summary, uh, property summary. Now, one thing that I like to do with my calculation fields because uh, Podio will identify the type of calculation field it is by the first inkling it gets of it. Okay, so what I mean by that is whether it's text or number, um, it's going to identify that field type and then you can't change it. So sometimes if I'm about to get into a pretty intense formula and it's gonna be text, I'll kind of stamp that in there so that Podio knows it's gonna be a text, okay? And then I can go on with it. Now, this gets annoying, like Podio wants to think that most calculations are numbers. So if you have this really elaborate, big calculation, then you save it, it might say, oh, you can't change the type from number. So sometimes that is a good way to go. But all we're gonna do is create a markdown table. Now, a markdown table um, is a really cool way, again, to bring in information from the other apps. We're just gonna have it nice and neat, all right? And what I like to do with a markdown table is I use variables, okay, to, um, to help kind of tell the story. But before I get into the variables, I'm just gonna create a simple markdown table just to kind of get started. And what I like to do here is we'll, we'll identify a variable called markdown, okay? So markdown is going to equal, and then we just kind of start to build the table. So if you think of a table, we're gonna have the header comes first, okay? So maybe it's um, your property attributes is gonna be in the first column. So maybe I can put attribute, okay? And then um, to identify it as a table, you're just gonna use this vertical line here. And then what's the, you know, what's the second column? Maybe it's gonna be like, value, okay? So I got my attribute and then I got my value, all right? And now I'm going to tell the system here that I want to add a new line, okay? So follow along with me here, okay? But um, also keep in mind that uh, you're gonna be able to copy and paste this, okay? So um, let me just do this here, whoops. So what I'm doing, this is a markdown kind of format to tell the system that we're going to be doing new lines and that we're going to be having headers, etc. Okay, so once I kind of have that, now I can do, um, now I'm gonna take my markdown, okay? I'm just going to add to it my second line, okay? Now for just demonstrating this, I'm going to pull in um, as the first, Thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull in like the status of the property. Okay. So I'm going to pull in the status. Okay. And um, then I'm going to add a break, which tells the system that we're going to do a new column. Okay. There's my break. And 
Well, actually, what I'll do, I'm sorry, uh, I have to label this, okay? So I'm gonna say that the status, I'm gonna write that in text. Notice I'm putting quotes there. And then here, I'm gonna put what that status actually is, okay? So I'm gonna put in status right there, okay? And, um, and let's just do that for now and click Save, okay? So what we can do is build out a nice little table. So look here, I have attribute, status, active, okay? I'm gonna use this to build out, I'm gonna bring in all the property details. I'm gonna bring in the Zestimate, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the type of home as well, all right? So let's continue to build this out. Now, when I say I like to use variables, um, I try to keep all of my references kind of outside of my table. It's just cleaner that way. So I'll go up top and kind of set some variables. Um, and sometimes what I'll do, I'll do label one. So I'll say label one equals status, okay? So label one's gonna be this here, okay? And then maybe my label two is going to be Zestimate. Label three, let's do bedrooms. Label four equals bathrooms. And let's do label five equals um, type. And let's do label six equals link to comps. Okay, so those are my labels. So when I define labels up here, I don't need quotes anymore down here. Instead, I could just type what that, um, that variable is. So this is label one, okay? So label one. I'm also going to define my, my values. So just like I have labels one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to do value one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So my value one is all of the status from my property. Value two is going to be this estimate. Now we're gonna have to do something with this estimate. Now when you, you're doing this with your related fields, it's always gonna be all of, okay? This estimate, we're gonna have to come back to this and do some formatting on it, so stick with me. Value three is going to be all of bedrooms, okay? Value four is going to be all of bathrooms. Value five, oops. All of type, um, do we have, maybe it's home type. Home type, there it is. And then value six, let's make value six the link to comps. Or how do we, how do we have that labeled? Yep, Zillow comps, okay. So now I've got everything kind of defined. I can get rid of variables here now, okay. So I have label one and then I'm gonna do value one, all right. Now, because I'm adding a new uh, line to this, I'm going to have, hit the plus button and I'm going to pull in my, my coding for a new line, okay? And then I can take this and I'm gonna copy this down till I get to six, okay? And now I'm just gonna replace the ones with two. So instead of label one there, I'm gonna do label two. Instead of value one, I'm gonna do value two. Instead of label one, th three, four, five, and six. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. So now I got my attributes down this side, status, estimate, bedrooms, bathrooms, type, link to comps. All right, now one thing you're probably noticing is that this estimate is not formatted right. So we're gonna fix that. We're also gonna add a decimal to the bathroom so that we, can, we know if it's 2.0 or 2.5 baths, okay? So let's do some more work with this, all right? So what we'll do with this is we're gonna do some formatting on these values, okay? So this is something that you might not know, but that's okay, I'm actually gonna copy and paste it in. So my Zestimate, I'm going to take a dollar sign, so I'm gonna do quote, dollar sign, end my quote, okay? And then 
I'm gonna hit the plus button and I'm gonna take this estimate and I'm going to do some cool formatting to, to it. And uh, again, I'm copying and pasting. I don't memorize this stuff. I encourage you to kind of start building out your, um, your setup as well. Okay, so let's do Zestimate. Um, all right. To fixed. All right. Yeah, and I think I need to make this say some. Okay, so that would do it. All right, so this one's not all of it. It's actually some of Zestimate. All right. So now I'm bringing it in. You can see the preview here. Now I'm doing two decimals. Let's make this zero, okay? And then let's copy this whole thing and let's do that for bathrooms as well. All right, I don't need the dollar sign here. I'm just gonna take bathrooms, okay? And I'm gonna make that a one decimal, all right? I just need that period there. Okay, so I would take, if I were, you know, take this and copy it, because you can use it. Um, all that does is that format formats a number into one having a comma, if it's a thousands, right? And also to how many decimals you want it. And then we're gonna do another thing too. We're gonna add, um, we're gonna make the, the Zillow link to comps look a little cooler, okay? And so one way to do that is you can add in these brackets to say, um, like Zillow comps, okay, brackets, and then start parentheses, okay, hit your quotations, hit the plus button, and then at the end of it, hit your plus and end your parentheses. And basically what you're doing is you're kind of defining that you want this link, this hyperlink, to say the word Zillow comp, but when you click it, you're gonna go there, okay? So let's see what this looks like. It's kind of like starting to take shape, right? Cool, right? So here you see my Zestimate looks a lot better. I got my bedrooms, bathrooms, and then I have Zillow comps. If I click that, it's going to bring me to my comps for, for Zillow. Looks really sleek, right? And so I'm able to get all of this information right here without having to go to the property. I'm gonna do one more thing. I don't really like having labels here when they don't really do anything. So I'm gonna get rid of the value label. And what I'm gonna do here is hyperlink to the property, okay? And that's a kind of a cool thing to do. Now, before I do that, I am going to go to the property and I'm going to put a, a little code and you saw me do this in my other video where I was uh, navigating between. I'm gonna put a unique ID on this thing, okay? So I'm gonna bring a calculation field all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna make it always hidden, okay? And I'm gonna do unique ID hidden. And I'm gonna bring in general properties unique ID, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this because I want this to link over here. So I'm gonna copy this for later use. Let's go back to my deal. I'm gonna do one final thing here. I'm going to make a variable for the header, okay? So I'm gonna call this header and I'm gonna make it where I wanna to go to this link, okay? And but before I go to this link, I'm gonna call it uh, the property, okay? So I'm going to put in my brackets. So I'm, I have the start of a bracket, end the bracket. Now I'm gonna bring in my property address, okay? Now I'm gonna end my bracket, and I can probably also start my parentheses, end that, hit the plus button. Now I'm going to do quotes on my my items here, and my quotes. I'm gonna add in the unique ID for the property. All right, so that would be unique ID hidden. All right, and finally, I have to close my parentheses. Okay, so now that's my header, so I want that to show up here. Header plus my break
All right, so let's see if this works. So what I want that to look like is I want it to be 122 Buffalo and I want to get me to the property. So let's see how that works. I know this is kind of complicated, but you can copy this stuff and use it. All right, that's looking a lot better, right? So now this is actually a hyperlink. So here's my property summary, 122 Buffalo. If I click this, it'll bring me over to Podio. Okay, so if I want to get the details, that's where those are, okay? Then I can hit the back button or, or come back to it. So what this allows me to do is I could potentially hide this reference then, right? If there was a way that we we're auto-populating those references, uh, you don't need it there anymore. So I can make that always hidden. And so now I have a really sleek deals app where I have just the information I need for my property, okay? So you can certainly add different fields to this and it's really cool. And of course, I love using these hyperlinks to kind of bounce over. Now, I've already done this video too where I show you how to navigate between um, various related apps. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go ahead and check that out as well because there's so much you can do with hyperlinks that really help with the Podio user interface, okay? All the code's gonna be posted here in the comments. You're gonna have to copy and paste and then make it right for yourself as well. But if you have any questions, you're running into issues, just post it in the comments there. I'll be sure to help you out. And I will say this too, we are, uh, we are recording currently a Podio Crash course, okay? So if you're interested in that, go to IncomeDigs.com and sign up to be on the VIP list. It's gonna have this plus a ton more stuff, reference sheets, all the calculations, Globiflow, um, as well as some external integrations as well. All right, but until next time, check out all the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. We'll see you on the next video.